We all know about Sega going third party in 2001, making games for the Xbox, the PlayStation 2, and the Nintendo GameCube, and basically every other console that came after. But what about games for the PlayStation 1? Yes, as crazy as it sounds, Sega actually made games for the console that predated the Dreamcast and went head to head with their very own Sega Saturn console. And Mini Money, Shakato Tambourine da Payon is one such game. What's more, this Japan-only rhythm action game just got a fan translation. Hi there, I'm Dan the Mega Driver of the Sega Guys and in this video, I'll be trying out this strange Japanese curio that represents Sega's only original game created solely for the PS1 and its translation patch now that it is fully playable in English. Let's start with the patch itself. This comes from the modders Hilltop, Old Game Box, and Cargodin, and it's available on Hilltop's Patreon page. We here are big champions of the Sega homebrew scene, but Hilltop's work, it seems, is mostly PlayStation focused. This game, of course, being an original game on the PlayStation 1. But what's fascinating about this game is that it released in 2002, when the PS1 still had a market. Not everyone had moved to the brand new PS2 at the time, so new releases were still coming. Sega, meanwhile, was still supporting the Dreamcast with a handful of games, but support was tailing off for the last Sega console, which had now totally ceased production. This led to a strange scenario where Sega released two games for the former rival platform, one being a port of the Sega classic Pio Pio Sun, and the other being this original rhythm action game. Mini Money Shakato Tambourine de Payon itself is a game not unlike Samba de Amigo. Here, the game centers around the Japanese pop group Mini Money and features a number of their songs, as well as some from other Japanese pop groups. In Japan, you could buy the original game bundled with a tambourine controller and the game again, like Samba de Amigo, sees the player move and shake their motion controlled instrument in time with the beat. For me, I have no such peripheral, and so I had to rely on the game controller itself for the gameplay. Now we'll get onto the gameplay shortly, but we'll go back to the translation itself. The original game obviously never left Japan and was made solely for Japanese audiences, particularly with the focus on the J-pop group. As you might expect, the original game has very little English. As far as I could see in the retail game, only the beat count the name entry and the grading letters were the only areas where any Western lettering or language was used. Hilltop's update called this a little bonus English patch we made pretty quick while working on our bigger projects, which I think really undersells the work done here. It's an exhaustive translation. Absolutely everything has been translated from the boot screens and the warning screens to the menus all the way to the gameplay. With the sheer variety in graphical font styles used, it seems like a lot of work has gone into this. It is, all of it, very impressive. The only thing is that song lyrics don't appear to have been fully translated, which I'd imagine would have been quite challenging, as it was with Chung Rhythm. So what we have instead is Japanese text Romanized, but still entirely in Japanese. Still, amongst the Romanji, you will still see things like strawberry pie, that is, if you're able to take your eye off of the on-screen action. And to be honest, I didn't have much time to glance at the subtitles. I've said before, I'm not fantastic at rhythm action games. And given I had a pad instead of the tambourine controller, I opted to go in at the beginner level. And even there, the action seemed pretty fast paced and frantic, but still very much enjoyable. After a number of songs, I realized that I was having a lot of fun. And once I got the timing down, I felt keen to try things at a higher difficulty level. The music is very much as you'd expect, catchy, upbeat, and distinctively Japanese. And I found it extremely enjoyable to listen to, really adding to the game's playful atmosphere. Overall, this is a brilliant little curio. Yes, there is part of me that feels sad and maybe even a little peeved at Sega making new content for the original PlayStation 
four years after they pulled the plug on the Sega Saturn on the west and so close to the demise of the Sega Dreamcast. But what we have is a great little rhythm action game and a piece of history now available for a new wave of gamers, old and new, to experience. And that's what makes these projects so valuable. This game would have been difficult for most Western gamers to get into. But now the door has been truly opened for this forgotten Sega gem to be experienced by all. With this game, you realize that Sega really have ticked every single box to say they've developed games for every single piece of PlayStation hardware. And it helps that it's full of Sega charm and engaging gameplay. And the music is really damn catchy too. So yes, make sure you check out Hilltop's Patreon page for links to this game's patch and to stay on top of their future work. As for us at the Sega guys, we do hope that you've enjoyed this video. If you have, please leave a like and a subscribe as that really helps the channel and hit that bell for notifications to stay on top of all future Sega Guys content. And if you want to be extra mega, think about becoming a member with a bunch of awesome perks that start from as little as 99p. But regardless of any of that, thank you so much for watching and we will see you on the Sega side.